JJK has continued its long and storied history of the most confusing manga we've ever read. Trying to figure out somebody's ridiculously complex curse technique, boy oh boy has it been going over my head. The most confusing 12 pages of manga I have ever read, and thus for the last 3 or 4 weeks of JJK I've been reading it kind of like this. 75% of this chapter is Japanese comedy nonsense. It's just a bunch of one-liners whose punchlines don't make any sense to us English speakers that just somehow rapidly transition to them doing full bits that make no sense whatsoever. I don't understand Japanese. Japanese comedy, JJK hasn't helped me understand Japanese comedy, and I probably never will understand Japanese comedy. I love that they have it. We forgot the severity of the battle that was happening. And just as we were falling asleep at the wheel that was reading this manga, Yuta appeared directly behind him and decapitated Kenjaku. 